video games have some pretty iconic sound effects. But I'd like to add one more to that list. That sound is instantly recognisable if you've played any games or watched any movies set during the Second World War. The most recent, of course, being Call of Duty World War II. The ping of the M1 Garand has become a sound synonymous with the World War II shooter genre. Just as the sound of Mario picking up coins is linked to platformers, and the Metal Gear Solid Alert sound is married to the stealth genre. It's a sound you'll hear a lot in the game, and it's a sound that most first-person shooter players have been conditioned to have a Pavlovian response to. Not only is it very prominent in gameplay, but it's also used in the game menus and was featured in the Call of Duty marketing material leading up to release. But why has this weapon not only been in hundreds of movies and games, but how does it make that bloody sound that so many players love? Here's a brief history lesson. The M1 Garand was the standard US service rifle from 1936 to 1959. It fired a 30 6 Springfield round and was produced to numbers higher than 5.4 million during World War II. The weapon was so effective that General George S. Patton called it the greatest implement of battle ever devised. The weapon gave US infantrymen a significant advantage over the Axis powers, who at the time in which America had entered the conflict were largely using bolt-action rifles like the German KAR or the Japanese Arasaka. The first game that the M1 Garand prominently appeared was Commandos Behind Enemy Lines, a 1998 RTS game by Pyro Studios. But the first time most shooter fans would get to use the weapon would be in 1999. For those of you who never played the first Medal of Honor on the original PlayStation, you took the role of fictional Lieutenant Jimmy Patterson, who through the game would be recruited into the OSS as he completed objectives and destroyed enemy Axis positions. Here's a fun fact for you, Steven Spielberg actually helped get Medal of Honor off the ground outlining the idea after watching his son play Goldeneye and combining it with his interest in the Second World War. After Medal of Honor, the weapon would remain a mainstay in World War II first-person shooter games, and by the time that Call of Duty 3 was released in 2006, it had already featured in 25 games, alongside dozens of movies and TV shows. Many titles that used the Garand fell to the misconception that partially expended clips couldn't be ejected until empty. In Call of Duty 3, you'd have to fire all eight rounds until you'd be able to load another clip. While back in the real world you could reload a partially emptied clip, the manual of arms did call for the rifle to be fired until empty. The Garand was fed by an end block clip, a solid piece of metal that holds the rounds to be inserted as a unit into the fixed magazine of the weapon. After the last round is fired, the clip is ejected from the weapon, resulting in the trademark... Clear, let's go. The reload of the M1 Garand is probably its most well-known feature. The iconic ping of a cartridge being ejected is always a satisfying sound to hear after exchanging fire with your virtual foes. When a new clip is inserted, the bolt would slam shut, which would sometimes catch an infantryman's thumb if they weren't quick enough, resulting in an injury known as M1 thumb or Garand thumb. During the war, reports rose that enemy forces were using the distinct sound of a clip being ejected to get the drop on them and catch them reloading. The report started research into using plastics instead of metal, but nothing was ever implemented. Although, according to former German soldiers, the sound was mostly inaudible over the sound of gunfire, and their tactics never changed to take advantage of the M1's pinging sound, as it's more than likely that other squad mates were able to keep firing while their comrade reloads. So, if you've ever wondered why the M1 Garand made that sound, now you know. I know this is a bit of a different kind of video that you'd usually see on GameSpot, but I thought a few shooter fans would like some info on how one of the coolest sounds in games came to be. If you'd like to see videos similar to this one, leave us some suggestions in the comments below and we will do our best to accommodate. And if you want some more Call of Duty content, make sure you head to GameSpot.com.